And it was very interesting to go through this because uh, we saw the same things over and over and over again, year after year after year, in department after department. And it was basically a um, you know, lack of management, uh, mismanagement, lack of controls, lack of cash controls. Um, and they sound like little things, but they added up across the, you know, there, there was, and failure to act on the previous audits we kept seeing over and over again. So uh, they were ignoring all the recommendations, not following through on them, continuing to do the same bad practices that had already been identified. And across, it was a lot of uh, credit card mismanagement, cash management lacking, you know, lack of uh, oversight, uh, just completely incompetent mismanagement was what we found. And people were, you know, it sounds silly, but it really added up to a lot of money. And when you go across every department for years, it was uh, people running up, you know, credit cards with exotic trips and European vacations and buying expensive gifts and, and cash just disappearing out of agencies and nobody knowing where, where it is. That was happening across state government. Uh, so. Mainly, our main focus is, is competence. I mean, we, I, I don't believe that this administration has done an effective job of managing state government. And I could point to several examples, uh, you know, hundreds of examples, but the two that stick out in my mind the most are the most recent one is the rollout of the health care system, uh, the, the health care uh, website exchange here in Maryland, where, you know, really we had the governor was saying he, we were going to be a model for the nation. Uh, we were going to be first and we were going to be best. And the only thing we're a model for is uh, complete failure. And we're, we had the worst implementation of any state in the nation. And we've wasted hundreds of millions of taxpayers' dollars. Uh, the other glaring example of mismanagement is the Baltimore City Jail, where we literally had inmates running the state prison system. Um, and, and those are just a couple of quick examples, but ones that really stand out, and you guys wrote a lot about both of them. Um, I believe that's really our strengths, our ticket. You know, Boyd Rutherford and I, we both served as cabinet secretaries in Ehrlich's administration. So, and both of us had across, uh, we were across every single agency in state government. You know, I appointed people in every agency of state government in the executive branch, but also appointed a dozen members of the legislature, 100 judges. We had a wide kind of a portfolio to see lots of things going on. Boyd Rutherford, similarly, as the Department of General Services Secretary, worked with every other agency. And they handled all the real estate for state government. They, they handled all of the procurement for state government. So we have a pretty intimate knowledge of the workings of state government. Um, he went on to be Assistant Secretary of Agriculture at the federal level, where he managed a department with 100,000 employees, uh, larger than state government. Uh, and uh, in, in, both of us are small business guys in the private sector. So I, I think we can bring an outside perspective and a knowledge of government, I think we can be better and more effective managers. And he and I talked about this uh, when, we, when we talked about, you know, getting to teaming up and running together, which I had to twist his arm, by the way, because he's not the least bit interested in being a politician, didn't want to run for office. He's just a smart guy and a hardworking guy. I knew that turning the state around was going to be a nearly impossible challenge, and I needed to find the best guy I could find. Um, he, uh, he, we talked about looking at it sort of like running a business. Obviously, it's not like a business. It's running a government, but some things you can bring in. And I, I, I look at it as sometimes lieutenant governors have very little portfolio or responsibility. They're just making up things for them to do. Uh, in, in our administration, it would be a real partnership where um, I would be more of the CEO and he would be the COO. And I'd like to work together. We're actually managing the, the, the uh, cabinet and, and, and having more hands-on controls. And we're going to try to hire uh, people, uh, the most qualified people we possibly can, regardless of their party affiliation, uh, who perhaps have some uh, outside perspectives and have some you know, private sector experience, which is, I think, sometimes lacking in state government, uh, both on the political end and in the administrative end. So I, I just think we can run things uh, more effectively, and that's what our, our hope is.